it's this epic disaster. We're here at <laughs> Chateau Sherry. Yes, yes, we are. Um, also known as Sherry's house. My house. Yeah. Um, and we'll be here probably for a couple more weeks, two more weeks, three more weeks, something yeah, like that. Somewhere in I there. I know we'll be back in the studio. Yes, we will. Uh, um, not that it makes them too much of a difference, but you know, different locations sometimes kind of fun. Does is the okay? I'm I'm gonna just admit to something. Okay, I haven't listened to one of our podcasts in several weeks. Uh, ever have you ever? Yes, I have. Okay, um, a handful of them, honestly, out of the what 200 shows we've done. Yeah, I've, I've listened to maybe 10. Okay, um, but does this is the sound different when a little we bit. record here? A little it bit. Is? It's it uh, in a weird way. I would say it sounds more live, a little slightly less professional. Yeah. But it's okay. It sounds like we're like remote, which we are, and that's okay. So I, my concern is that my my house is very echoey. Uh-huh. Can does that, can you pick that Probably up? Probably a little bit, and the mics are uh, slightly different sounding. Okay, okay, because they're different mics. Yeah, but not too bad. Cool. I mean, uh, I've heard podcasts that their main microphones and stuff are worse than <laughs> our backups. Yeah, I I have as well. Yeah. Um. Uh, but it's it, it works. We go on location. We bring uh, all of our games. We bring our stuff. We bring our uh, beer. And mm-hmm. we have beer today. We brought a beer today. You so brought a beer. So I, I did. I brought, uh, if you've listened to the show probably the past, what, three weeks, two weeks, uh, we did do a review of a Japanese beer. Today we're having the second Japanese beer that I bought the other day. So it's uh, beer number two uh, of that collection. And I think it's by the same company, isn't it? It is. It is. It's um, an original ale from... Kizakura? Yeah, something like Kizakura. that. Kizakura. Uh, it's called Yamadanish. Yamadan. Hold on. <laughs> There's a lot of syllables here. Yamadanishiki. Yamadama ding dong. No. Um, <laughs> Yamadanishiki. Now read ale. what the description, because it sounded very like it would be interesting. Don't, doesn't it have. Yes, it does. It says it's mild sake and rice aroma, <gasps> creamy and slightly light taste using king of sake rice. Okay, rice beer, huh? Yeah, so All it's right. a rice beer. Let's see if it tells us how much alcohol is in it. It's got 5.2% alcohol. By not shabby. Volume. That's it's, not shabby. It's, not, it's normal. It's average. I'm going to put my mic down so I can open it. Okay, so um, this I purchased this at a, uh, an, I guess you'd say, Asian uh, grocery store, um, and... They, man, they had a pretty good selection, but I wouldn't buy it all the time because like one bottle is 10 bucks, and it's not a large bottle, so... That's about right. So, uh, and the last one had sediment. This one does too. It's a little, it is cloudy. Um, it's got quite a head on it, and I poured it correctly, I think. You did. It poured it a little fast, though. But it's, it is kind of light. It's gold. It's it's yellowish. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah. Looks like pea. A bit. Yep. A bit in that, in that range. Of course, I guess that... It's in the pea range. Yeah, that doesn't really describe it, because pea is all different colors. Especially when you take... Um, Diuretics, your pee, mm-hmm. depending on the brand, my pee turns blue. Uh, I just hope it doesn't taste like pee. <laughs> so I'm going to try it right now. Uh, Kyoto is the company. Or yes. Isn't it? Is Kyoto. Right? Smell. Oh, it does smell like uh, sake. It smells a lot like sake. It does. All it right. Does. Let's see what it tastes like. All right. Have a sip. Interesting. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just had lunch, so... I never know how much that taints the flavor of what we have. Yeah. Or how it changes, uh, you know, I- I- if we drink it like tomorrow, if it would taste any different. Well, I mean, you know, these tasters, these, um, these, I was going to call them celiacs, but that's not what they are. The, the taste buds. The people that taste <laughs> oh. the, no, not our tasters, okay. like the actual professional tasters. Right. The sommeliers for wine. I don't mm. know what they're called for beer. Right. But, um, <clears throat> They have like every time they try one, they do some something to clean their palate, uh-huh. totally, and they sniff like coffee or whatever to clean their their nose. I I went to uh, on a wine tasting adventure with my wife and some of uh, her friends, and they you would take you would drink the wine and then you would eat little goldfish crackers in between. Goldfish so, crackers. Yeah, so that's what they use to cleanse the palate. Goldfish crackers. Yeah. Interesting, because that w- that'll taint the taste of anything. It seems like it. The che- there were the cheese kind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll okay. see at the end of the uh, 
podcast what we think about it um i want to do a quick um shout out um endorsement um i don't know what you call it uh i am uh man i'm so enthusiastic and if you follow me on facebook you you've already seen me uh, recommend this i want to recommend a documentary that i've watched and i've already watched it twice Ah, it's like the best documentary maybe the best that i've seen ever but it's certainly the best of the year and i i've been reading some stuff online and they're kind of predicting that it might win the Academy Award for oh, Best wow. okay. Documentary. What is it? It's called The Painter and the Thief. Ah, yes. You sent me an advertisement on that. And or you haven't watched it. You no, I watch haven't it. watched it. it. So you can watch it for free if you have Hulu. It's on Hulu. Uh-huh. But you can also rent it on Amazon Prime. Okay. And it's only three bucks to rent it. Yeah. And I, uh, So my, for whatever reason, sometimes my Hulu app on my television, um, it malfunctions okay and it like blinks while you're watching it it's just it's Annoying. like it scrambles it's yeah it's hard to watch so I, I actually even though i could watch it for free we rented it for three bucks on amazon so we could watch it without that and uh it's very cool well you have a mac so you mm-hmm. could also turn it on your apple device and then shoot it to your apple to watch it on tv I, I know i could do that with youtube i've not tried it with uh hulu or something like that i don't know if i could do it that way but maybe i can mm-hmm. um i probably should have done it that way but yeah so i watched it i watched it by myself you know a lot of times when i'm doing housework i'll put on a documentary i'm just sure. like want something in the background something i can kind of watch and and this one is one of those that's like uh oh i i can't do housework you i have, have to, to watch, it. watch it oh yeah. man it's so good uh, but yeah, uh, I I would recommend if you can watch it, please do. It's What's it so about? Good. It is about a painter, a young painter uh, in Norway, and she, man, she's so good. She's an oil painter, hyper realistic, like photographs, stuff, sure, just sure. really, but big giant paintings. And so she's ha- she has an art show. She's showing some paintings, and two thieves come in and steal her paintings. Oh my goodness! And. Um, they, and they, it's on video. They break in <laughs> and they go in and they steal the paintings and then they walk out with the paintings. So it's on video uh, right. and they know who the guys are. So they catch them and they have to go to court. And so the painter goes to court. And while she's there, she she strikes up a conversation with one of the guys that steals from stole the painting. Uh-huh. And... She says, this is going to sound really weird, but would you mind posing for me? I would like to paint you. And he's like, um, okay, <laughs> sure, whatever. So he's like this heavily tattooed uh, guy that's like strung out on drugs. And uh, he doesn't even remember stealing the paintings. He, he says, wow. I was completely out of his mind. So she tries to ask him several times, do you know what happened to my paintings? And he's like, honestly, I, I, if I knew, I would tell you, but I don't know. But the the movie shows them becoming best friends. No. They become best friends. And it is that adventure of what happens. That's exciting. And um, so they're both in relationships. I mean, it, they, it's not a romantic thing. Sure. It's not a sexual thing. It's just... So it's just... And she says, when I... At one point in the film, she says, when I saw him in the courtroom, and she says, I fell in love with him and right. she, she didn't mean like romantic but she was just like I don't see him as a criminal she's like there's just something about him and I just think I've been in so many relationships like that I have friends that I've that I've been friends with forever that just I I just had a, a connection with them from the beginning and I do not know why yeah and it's just it survived forever mm-hmm. and and I can totally understand that and so but the movie is about that, and there's ups and downs and, and drama and interesting things. And it goes into uh, the depths of the people, mm-hmm. the kind of the study of who they are right? Um, and why they act the way they do. And, and so it's a movie about forgiveness. It's a, it's a movie about compassion. It's a, a movie about um, unconditional acceptance and how that can transform a person. Cool. I will check it out it's now. It's so good. And the fact that she's such a brilliant artist. And just, um, I don't know. It's it's worth looking at. I would watch it again. I, I would watch it three times. And that's unusual for you. Once you watch something once, you tend not to watch well, it again. It depends on, on the movie. I mean, yeah. seen St. Elmo's Fire 160-something times. Yeah, there's And I that. do, I mean, I, I have movies that I watch. But I mean, 
you know, I don't know. I I do watch films over and over, but that's, but that's it's just I don't know. It's that deep. The second time I watched it, I got stuff out of it that I didn't get out of it the first time I watched it. Yeah, it is uh, about twenty percent of it is subtitled. Okay, uh, and I hate movies with subtitles just because. You just have to focus on the screen all the time. You have to. Sometimes you have to. You're reading and you're missing action that's going on. Yeah, you're so, focusing on reading, yeah. and so you're not seeing what's actually happening. And you miss a part of the movie. So I, I'm not a big fan of sub, subtitled movies, and um, so that was one thing I didn't particularly like about it. But it's not that. It's not a big part of the movie. So okay, okay. they speak English a lot. I will check it out. I will let you know what I think of it. Yeah, and so um, if you want to see a good movie document, and, and it's it's not like, I think, again, I read a review that said that it, it seems almost like a movie more than a documentary, and that is the feel. It's one of those, it's very different from most documentaries I've seen in that you feel like you're watching a movie with a storyline and characters rather than just a documentary. And we're sure it's an actual documentary. Yeah, yeah. It's real. Yeah, they went to Sundance and um, yeah, this year. It, it just came out this year. I think the movie was released, I believe it was the end, end of June. Okay. So it's it hasn't been out that long. Just a couple of weeks? Yep. All right. Well, Patreon the Thief. May, in the May, in the June, I can't remember. but Cool. I'll check it out. Patreon would you rather thief. talk more about the movie or play Would You Rather? Let's play Would You Rather. All right. And this is where the theme starts. Da, 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 da. Uh, you're dropping. I need a card. Let me get a card. Oops. Don't drop two. I dropped two stones. All right. I need to get a card here. Just drop one. Just all it takes is one. one Would stone. you rather you drop a color stone? It'll tell you which question you get asked. And you dropped a yellow one. Which is random. So could be anything. Uh, yellow random. Remember when I said I can look at it and, tell, and see it without glasses? Yeah. Here. Um, would you rather... While at the top of Mount Everest, here's some glasses. Lose your. <laughs> this is lose your hat. <laughs> that just doesn't seem like uh, such a big deal. Would you rather, while at the top of Mount Everest, lose your hat or your goggles? Oh. I guess because it's so cold. You yes. Ha- okay. It's would you rather cold. lose your hat or lose your goggles? I would rather lose my hat. Um, yeah, you kind of you need the goggles more. Yeah, because you wouldn't be able to keep your eyes open mm-hmm. up there in that altitude with it being so cold. Where is Mount Everest? I'm sorry. Everest is. Oh God, Everest is in Fiji. That's why things uh, it may not Fiji, but like Tibet or Tibet, in that, Tibet in yes. that area. Yes, and that's that's right. Because or India. Well, yeah, it's it's there because the the all of the folks, who, the shepherds who take not shepherds, but Sherpas, Sherpas who uh-huh. take you up there. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it's Nepal. Yeah, it's in Nepal. Uh, and we've talked about this, but uh, I've seen. Uh, I'm horrible pictures. at geography, by the I've way. I've seen pictures of people going up there, and they're dead people laying yeah. on the path. They use them as markers. They use them as markers. They're still dead. They're just there, and they're and people. They're like, okay, that's ball headed guy. Turn left at ball headed guy. Yep. Or um, when you get to um, uh, there's there's strange, one strange uh, girl with twisted arm. You 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 got twenty more miles to go. It's just so weird. Yes. That, that's that. I don't know what I, I. Have you ever been out and just seen a dead person just laying somewhere? Yes. Just no, no, most people haven't though. That's um, what I'm saying. That that would be so freaky. Yeah. And and it, I mean, if you think about what it would take to pull those people down from there, well, that's why they leave them. They could risk their own lives. And doing because that. it's so cold, they're preserved. Yeah, they're not. It's gonna... just like the, the day they died. Mm-hmm. But I think about their families. Wouldn't I mean if you knew somebody in your family was stuck up there, and it was somebody that you actually cared about? <laughs> would wouldn't you want to go like try to retrieve them and bring them back? No, because I'd be risking my life to do it, and I don't think that my loved one would want me to do that. We, we I don't know why helicopter drones. We you can't you can't we, rescue drones. <laughs> we need to <laughs> rescue can someone, drones. Can someone invent, uh, invent some rescue drones? Or that something? would be awesome. Yeah. rescue drones because right. that. But then you'd have to like remote control the drone, and you'd have to use the grappling arm to. And get... people would get lost. <laughs> They're like, "Where's bald guy? Where'd bald oh guy go? God, now oh I don't God. know where I'm going. I'm going down the wrong side of the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, so, again, I would rather lose my hat. Um, uh, speaking of documentaries, I did see a documentary uh, a few year, uh, a couple years ago about Sherpas. And, um, and there, 
they climbed a mountain and there was a big avalanche and several of them were killed. Ah. And they almost killed the <laughs> the people in the that were organizing the climbing party because they were like, you're responsible for my um, uh, loved one dying. The Sherpas almost killed the organizers of the, the climb? The Sherpas family. Oh, my gosh. Because there was an avalanche that killed them. And, and so, but it was weird. And then suddenly they were stuck at this mountain and, and they you know people who wanted to kill them and they couldn't come off the mountain it was really interesting they su- suddenly had to do all this uh uh really intense bargaining and um and uh oh my gosh like trying to um get out negotiate. alive yeah jesus <laughs> it was scary that is scary. It was interesting yeah all right i'm gonna drop something here okay i'm glad i didn't call it it's purple. It's purple, and that's not what you were going to call. No, we're both wearing purple today. We are. It's I'm a- wearing magenta and purple, and you're wearing kind of eggplant. Yeah, I, I was going to go with burgundy, but... Yeah. Well, do you think that's burgundy? It's not as red, but it, it's it is It's a little less red than yeah. burgundy. Red, violet, and then your hair is kind of magenta today. And then my glasses are purple. Oh, yeah. Um, your your hair was purple the other day, but today it's... Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's rinsing out. So. So here's your question All for right. your purple stone. Purple That's for stone, purple stone. Oh, oh God! No, you did not just do. That. Your dog didn't like me doing it. No, she didn't. It's <laughs> it woke her up. I used to could do that. I, you know the, the little scream that Prince does, and then also David Lee Roth can do that for Van Halen. And when I was younger, I could actually do that. Your voice won't do that no. anymore. No, no, mine won't do and that I don't, anymore. I don't either. really want to. So, would you rather okay. lick the head of a bald Harley biker after a sweaty race? Is he on Mount Everest? Um, <laughs> marking, <laughs> I guess. Or no. lick the surface of an entire car hood that hasn't been washed in a week? That's nasty. Why are you licking things? I don't know. This is a question for your dog. She licks everything. Uh, I'm going to go with the car hood. You would rather lick the entire hood of a vehicle? I, you know me. I don't like. Um, I don't like. Well, first of all, I don't want to lick the head of a biker. Period. Okay. I just don't want to. Okay. Uh, but I don't like. You know, I don't like. And by biker, they meant like a cyclist, I believe, because they were racing. Mm, yeah. Well. Okay. But either way, you wouldn't <laughs> want to lick somebody's head. No. I don't like body juices. I don't like body smells. I don't like body <laughs> secretions. I don't like body stuck. I'm I'm kind of antibody. Antibody. I'm anti-body. You're an antibody. Um, and so I think I would go with the uh, car hood. Okay <laughs> then, have fun with that. It's going to take you a while. I'm not actually going to lick the car. It's a large hood. area. And to who, cover. As for all I know, the biker might have rubbed his head all over the car hood. So I'm doing both. It, he could have because he's weird like that. Yeah. <clears throat> um. All right. I have a little quiz. Should we do that? Oops. Should you we have do a our, quiz for me? Should we do a little quiz? I love quizzes. I have a quiz. This is going to be an interesting quiz. We've not done this. Uh, here, let's take these color stones and pack them away before I drop them on the floor. And Toffee eats them. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I have a I have a quiz. Now, this is going to be an interesting quiz. Okay. Kind of fun quiz. So, what I'm going to do, and this is not, this is, uh, it's sort of a guessing quiz. And it's uh, a multiple choice uh, of 50 multiple choices. 50 and, multiple yes. choices but, but you don't cool have thing, to read them off to me because no i'm not going to read them off but uh the great thing is uh with each question uh, there the choices become less and less so you so you can actually get the answers by guessing uh the possibilities statistically go up as we get through with this as okay. we get toward the end and at the end i i know i'll get one right uh most likely here do you need glasses I'm not going to put those on. All I'm right, sorry. I'm not putting those on. Put on. I'm not going to wear your your little um, purple glasses. Put those on. No, these also have little jewels on them. I'm not nobody wearing, cares. I'm okay. I can read this. Oh, God. Okay, so. You don't want to wear my sparkly glasses. I do not. I'm not nobody gonna, can see you but me. I, th- I'm not wearing your Dame Edna glasses <laughs> while I'm sitting here. <laughs> and then you sneak glasses. a photo and post it online. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Not going to do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right, so here we go. This quiz is this. Um, I'm going to read off a famous invention or some sort of invention. Okay. And you tell me what state that it was invented in. Okay, let me get my list of states here. 
And so I'm horrible at geography, as so, I already made clear. Um, and uh, you don't really have any way to check them off. So, um, uh, but I will keep record of the one. So if you don't know them, you've got you you got fifty to guess from. Okay. And as we go down, you have less to guess from. That's why I say you could guess potentially get more. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to read some of them off, and or I'm going to read them all off actually, and then you tell me. Um, you try to guess what state this famous invention came from. Okay. I'm ready. Vacuum cleaners. I'm going to say um, Pennsylvania. No. It, uh, it is Missouri. Missouri. Yes. Vacuum cleaners came from, the Hoover came from Missouri. Uh, I can't remember what the first one was actually called. Okay. Uh, but see, that's how it works now. Okay, now I'm I know. Gonna, just going to read it. You tell me where it comes from. All right. Um, surfboards. California. Nope. Hawaii. Oh, Sherry. Now, I'm going to um, tell you that some of these you would logically think, like, like you just did. Yeah. You'd logically think surfboards from California. And it doesn't always work that way. Okay. Uh, I was surprised. I would fail this quiz if you gave it to me. I am failing <laughs> this quiz. All right, the Ferris wheel. Ferris wheel. Um, I'm going to say. Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel. I'm going to go with, um, come on, Sherry, pick one. How about... Pick a state. Illinois. Nope. Pennsylvania. God dang it. Okay. <laughs> Pennsylvania, really? Yeah, you call it Pennsylvania a few minutes ago. So, All right. Uh, blenders. Blenders. Where did blenders get discovered? Idaho. Nope. Wisconsin. Okay. The famous Wisconsin blender. See how it works now? How I, you get, yeah, I'm, I'm getting uh, it. Yeah, are you understanding how you have no chance in hell of winning yeah. this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe you'll get this one. Where was the World Wide Web invented? And it was by uh, not by Al Gore. No. No, he just built the tubes. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, California. Nope. Massachusetts. Oh, MIT. I don't know if MIT had anything to do with it. Maybe it did. I don't know. But that was Massachusetts. I'm an idiot. <laughs> this quiz. This is why you're doing this quiz is just to make me put me back in my place. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll throw one out. Maybe you, you might you might get. You just said I might get that one. Uh, you might. You didn't think about it. Uh, Coca-Cola. Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> I know that one. You got now, one. People in Tennessee will disagree with you, uh -huh. but they're wrong. Uh, I don't know that th they would disagree, but who knows? Okay. Um, Pine Sol. Rhode Island. No. Uh, Pine Sol was invented in Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah. I can All right. That. All right. I hope you're keeping a mental record of where I'm these are. Because then you get, I, you get more and more of a chance as we go along. I'm trying. Uh, diving suits. Diving suits. Uh-huh were invented mm -hmm. in New Jersey. No, but you're getting close. Where was it? Maine. Okay. Maine. Oh, I wh wonder why. <laughs> um, well, so diving suits started with the um, with military cuz they'd have those divers with the big mm -hmm. metal helmets no. and stuff and and I think a lot of these are just invented by a scientist who lived somewhere. It Possibly. doesn't have anything to do with where they were, were used. Possibly. All right. Uh, shopping carts. Shopping carts. Who, I'm going to go what with... What state? Maryland. No, ma'am. Shit. <laughs> uh, shopping carts were invented in Oklahoma. Okay, because the other one I was going to say wasn't Oklahoma either. All right, then. All right, then. Uh, where were road lines invented? You know, the lines on the road. Uh-huh. Where were those invented? New York City. No. Michigan. Shit. <laughs> Michigan? Someone in Michigan, oh, from what I saw was like, some guy was right. this was like a long time ago, he was riding behind a milk truck and it was leaking. Ah. And it was making lines on the road and he got the idea for road lines. Light bulb. Yeah, but I mean, uh, still, what did he do? Did he have to go to the government? They're like, we're not putting road lines on the road. Are you, you crazy? Crazy person. That's just more expense for us. So <laughs> something had to happen there. 
All right. And um, something probably happened where somebody was trying to pass somebody and got into a head-on collision, mm-hmm. and then he went back to the patent office, and he's like, see, if there were lines on the road, mm-hmm. that wouldn't have happened, which is actually a big lie because well, it still happens. All right. So uh, along these same lines, uh, no pun intended, w- where were traffic lights invented? What state invented or were traffic lights invented in? State for traffic lights. And that's a state that we haven't covered yet. Thank you for that hint. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, Virginia. No, the complete other side. It was invented in Utah. Utah? I like traffic lights. See, here's the thing that makes me not understand Utah. Is that, you know, as we colonized and populated the mm-hmm. United States. We right. started on the East Coast. You would think, because so, there weren't that road, there's still probably not that many roads in Utah compared to Virginia. Right. And why, you know, at that time, especially, why did they need traffic lights? And like, it, like, like, you would think that people on the East Coast would, would have a need for traffic lights mm-hmm. far before people in Utah. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyways. All right, alarm clocks. Or invented in what state? Alarm clocks. Arizona. No. <laughs> New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire invented an alarm clock. Because it's still dark when they got to get up in New Something Hampshire. Something like that. Uh, all right, then where were the gas pumps invented? Who invented gas pumps? What state were gas pumps invented in? Arizona. No. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana. Okay. They invented the gas pumps. Oh my God! Uh, I don't know if I can get a. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find one that might be easy. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Um, I don't think there is an easy one anywhere. Uh, let's try this one. Uh, where was cotton candy invented? Cotton candy was invented in New Jersey. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> you know what's weird too? As one of the inventors of cotton candy was a dentist. Oh, he wanted to drum up some business. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> he's he, like, my business is like, slipping. Let's, let's make uh, some cotton candy for the kids. Wow. Um, See, I was thinking like World's Fair and stuff like yeah. that. Well, you know? it was a World's Fair in Tennessee, but I don't That's know. That's true. But that it was, was invented later. in Nashville, so who knows? Interesting. Yeah. Did you know that one already? No. Okay. Because I lived in Tennessee for four years, and I never knew that. Um, I think I read that funnel cakes were invented in Tennessee, but I don't know that. Okay. So I think someone told me that. But Interesting. But I may have been lying. Uh, the happy birthday song was uh, invented where? Happy birthday to you. What happy state, birthday. What state to you. close to Tennessee was the happy <laughs> birthday state? A uh, happy birthday song invented in Kentucky. Exactly. Woo! I got one right. Land woo, of woo, your woo, ancestors. Woo. All right. The land of some of my ancestors. Okay. Yes. My dad was born in Kentucky. All right. Mine was too. Um. Oh, let's uh, let's give you a winning streak. Uh, Gatorade was invented in Florida. Exactly. Ding, that ding. one we was a, new. We need a ding, Easy. ding, 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 ding. You didn't that bring we... the little. Thing. No, I didn't, I didn't think about it. Okay. Uh, it was invented for the Florida Gator team Yes. Uh, to refresh themselves. Yes. Did and you know when I was little, one of my favorite things was gator gum? Mm. You remember gator gum? Me too. I love that. Me too. It was so good. All right. Um, you have a winning streak of two. Whoop. Should we try keeping it going? Let's. Uh, iPhone was invented where? California. Exactly. Three in a row. Yay. It might be the last time you get three in a row. I got this down and now. the last time you actually get one. Probably. Um, all right. Where were blue jeans invented? Blue jeans were invented in Texas. No. You're in the general area, but it wasn't Texas. Nevada. Nevada. Maybe okay. people gold rush, you know, I don't know. They needed jeans. They're out mining or something. Jeans used to be a lot different when they were originally created. I know. They didn't have to fit you all that well. No, they're loose. Yeah. I like loose jeans. All right. Uh, airplanes were invented. In Washington. No. <laughs> think about it. I'm not going to give it to you, but think about it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, I would say New York. The Wright Brothers. Oh. Kitty Hawk. Uh, uh, uh. Orville and Wilbur. Yeah, the horse Wilbur. 
They um, were in North Carolina. North, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, North Jesus. They were there. <laughs> uh, Kitty Hawk. All right. Uh, I thought you would get that one. I no, no. Sorry. All right. Where was television invented? Television. television. Television was invented in what state? Um, Minnesota. No. <laughs> television was invented in Idaho. Idaho? Idaho visit, uh, invented the television. Ah. All right. Where were hearing aids invented? Where are there a lot of old people? Oh, uh, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. <laughs> but, uh, I know. We'll, that was we'll, a horrible joke, we'll and I apologize. It's, it's close by uh, where we live today. Okay. I'll go with South Carolina. And especially if you were on the other side. <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> ah, ding, ding, ding. We'll give it to you. Okay. I don't know why, but I feel sorry for you. But All we're right. closer to South Carolina than we are to Alabama. Uh, no, we're not. Oh, <laughs> we're okay. Really not. Oops. Um, yeah, I don't know these Al things. Um, Atlanta is kind of is leans a little more on the west side, just slightly. Yeah. More so than most, more so than the east side. Okay. All right. Ski lifts were invented in what state we haven't mentioned so far? Wisconsin. No, we've mentioned Wisconsin. Oh, what um, did Wisconsin do? Uh, the vac wasn't the vac vac uh, blenders. Oh, that's right. So I'll give you another chance since we've already done Ski that Ski lifts is what we're talking about? In a state we haven't mentioned. Colorado. No. Oh, <laughs> Nebraska invented ski lifts. Oh, interesting. Because there are so many big mountains. That yeah. You I, don't know. I mean, gosh, all the there. skiing going on in Nebraska. All right. Well, let's stay in the same general area. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> where were ices invented? Um, ices. Wyoming. Um, and you, you, um, <laughs> Toto might have had one of them. Uh, years ago, Kansas. Exactly. <laughs> ding, Toto ding, ding. loved the cola flavor. I see. That was that was my favorite too. Mine was cherry. I got into a um, like when I was living in Chattanooga. Right before I came here, I got into this thing where I w became obsessed with cola ices, and I would get them every day. And I kept I would like shame myself every day. I was like, oh, I shouldn't be having this. It's like pure sugar. But oh, that, and then no. I would like I'm never getting another one. And then every day I would go back and get, get another. another one. <laughs> I couldn't stop. <laughs> I was so addicted to them, man. Do you remember the thing about ices? Like, I remember we would go to, I'm going to say, 7 Eleven mm -hmm. is where we would get ices. But do you, was your, okay, my, one of my parents was a horrible person. <laughs> and they would never let me uh, put more than one flavor in my cup. Oh. They wouldn't let me mix and match flavors. Suicide. Remember I don't that? Know. Huh? Remember that? That when you were, uh, did you have that when you were a kid? Suicide, that was like every flavor. I, I always felt bad for the people running the concession stand because these little eight-year-old kids would come up and go, I want a suicide. And then you had to take your cup, put ice in it, and then you had to put it in the Sprite, 7-Eleven, Mountain Dew, Diet Coke, Coke, Dr. Pepper. You had to put a little bit in each one and give it to the stupid kid. And then the next kid go, I want a suicide. And then all day long, in, it's like, just I just want to fill up a, a cup. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never did that. You I did. mean, I would, I would mix and match things. But now, you know, those Coca Cola dispensers, yeah, you get to choose what mm -hmm. you want, and you can put all you want in there. Yeah, yeah, I like those at the Six Flags. Um, all right, uh, where were zippers invented? Zippers, 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 zippies. Zippers were inv invented in Texas. Nope, they were invented in Illinois. Shit. Shit was invented in Illinois. See, I was trying to remember what's on most zipper pulls, and it's like a T and an X, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's why Something I thought like it was that. Texas. Or uh, Y and an X, Y and a Z. I don't know. X, Y, Z, zip, Y. Zip, I don't know. zipper. Um, the nicotine patch was invented in what new state? New Mexico. Exactly. <laughs> I have to give you a little... Well, Next I had three, four options there, but we've already said one of them. Yes. All right. Um, okay, then. Then. Where? <laughs> what well, state? I don't know what this became. A what challenge. state uh, was submarines invented in that's kind of close to us? Um, what state close to us was submarines invented in? That you've already mentioned once. but South Carolina. Exactly. For the military, right? Um, probably. I'm going to guess because there are a lot of military bases out there. 
Isn't there where there's like um, a, um, like one of the few submarines that I don't know. I don't Isn't know. There, now I'm trying to think if it was actually a hoax. Wasn't there like a submarine that someone invented during the Civil War that actually sunk off the coast somewhere and just like didn't work? It was like a Civil War. Is this like a, am I thinking of a hoax? I think a hoax? you're, you're mixing like a- up things because as a matter of fact, just yesterday I was reading um, uh, about um, all of the nuclear weapons uh-huh. that are at the bottom of the ocean. Nuclear weapons. Nu- nu- <laughs> nu- nu- I, was, I was purposely pronouncing it wrong. Okay. Don't do that to me. Nuclear Nuclear weapons. Anyways, um, there's one just off the coast of Georgia. As you know, it's a 7,000-pound unarmed uh, missile Okay. that fell into the ocean when a plane hit another plane. I hadn't heard about that. Um, But they talked about the numerous different... um, These are just the ones we know about, and I think I read a list of about 12 of them Mm -hmm. at the bottom of the ocean. Not to mention... Um, submarines that may have been lost at sea that we don't know about, things like that, that, okay. that may or may not have had warheads on them. Yeah. Um, there is actually, I think in the list, they mentioned two that are armed. Wow. That are at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that's pretty scary. It is. And then on top of that, you know, they did also use the ocean for um, practice tests. Yeah. As well. It's true. All right, where was Superman invented? Superman, like the man himself? Yes. Different planet. Um, Superman. The inventors of Superman came from what state? New York. No, Ohio. Ohio? Ohio, Cleveland, I believe it was. I'm such a loser. Y'all, I'm a loser. All right, ranch dressing was invented where? Ranch dressing was invented. Yes. It's in very, very close to you. Very close to your heart, I should say. Not close to you physically, but very, very... Washington. Very <laughs> no. <laughs> Alaska. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, it was not. It was invented in Alaska. That's a lie. That's a bald-faced lie. Ranch dressing invented in Alaska. Uh, all right, where were the? Uh, where was the binocular microscope? You know, the microscope with one little... Thingy. Where was the binocular microscope? That wouldn't be a binocular, binocular microscope. I don't know. Maybe two thingies. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess it's the binocular has one thingy but two eye thingies. Okay. Right? I don't know. Maybe. Where was that invented? What state? Shit. I don't what know, shitty, Rick. What <laughs> shitty state in the south? I'm just. I'm not saying the state is shitty. I'm just kind of putting Arkansas. things together. No. Alabama. No. You already said <laughs> I Alabama. I already said Alabama. Louisiana. Was the uh, where binocular microscope was invented? Awesome. All right, you're doing so well. Let's keep going. Aren't where, I though? Who? Where was toilet paper invented? What state toilet paper come from um, that we haven't awarded an invention to yet? Rhode Island. No. <laughs> north. I mean, um, North New York. No. New York invented toilet paper. No. What did they use before toilet paper? Um, what I what this uh, the description said was that somebody uh, there invented uh, like toilet paper, and I don't. But it wasn't on a roll. I think it was like uh, probably like tissue kind of stuff or whatever. And then someone else patented it, put it on a little tube, and patented it into a roll and put the little perforations in it. So I think you just had to kind of rip off some paper before. Interesting. Yeah. So they just used leaves before that? I do not Wash know. Washcloths? Well, I mean, some places use bidets for years. You That's know? true. And then you kind of pat dry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. You did not get oh, on this one. I didn't get any of them, Rick. You I got, got a three. few. Uh, where were can openers invented? What, what New England state were can openers invented? <laughs> um, we haven't talked about so far. <laughs> Um, Maryland. No. Damn it. <laughs> Connecticut. Can, it, can openers from Connecticut. Okay. Um, all right. Um, but here's one. Uh, hiking backpacks. Where were hiking backpacks invented? What state were hiking backpacks invented that you've mentioned several times? Hi- hiking backpacks. Colorado. No. God damn it. <laughs> 
Washington. Ah! Um, but you need a hiking backpack if you live in Colorado. Well, you need a hiking backpack any state where you're hiking. It's true. If it you're going to be long enough to need a backpack. Uh huh. Um, but if you're out in the hot and you want to come into air conditioning, where was air conditioning invented? What state? Not likely a cold state. What state? You, you never know. You don't know. Uh, was air conditioning invented in? Um, let's go with... I Minnesota. No. <laughs> That's a cold state. Uh, New Jersey was uh, the, where air conditioning was invented. <sighs> You're doing so well. Um, diners. You know, if you go to a diner, mm -hmm. diners, drive-ins, and dives. Yeah. Uh, where was the diner part? What state was the diner invented up in New England? Where Where in New England? What, <laughs> what tiny state New England... <laughs> Would you have to go to to, to find the orig original diner? Is it Rhode Island? Yeah, Rhode Island. Yay. Yes. I think I can give you that. I didn't really give you a hint. Did I give you a hint? Well, I don't think you did, because so. I could have just said Delaware. You could have. All right. Um, the electric typewriter. Electric typewriter was electric invented in what? Typewriter. What large state was uh, the electric typewriter invented in? I'm going to guess Texas. Exactly. Texas. Was where electric type Only because we already said Alaska. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, all right, so how about tractors? Tractors. Where are tractors invented? Tractors? Where? What state? Let's go. You needed to go dig up a, a few taters. Where would you go? I'm going to guess Idaho. Um, I, I might have thrown you off. I'm going to give you this one. I might have thrown you off because I read it wrong, uh, but it was Iowa. Same thing. I think they're both the exact same state. I think they are. They both start with the letter I. Uh, just Close like Tennis enough. Tennessee and Texas, same state. All right. Where were? The, where was the modern tampon invented? The modern tampon. The modern one. The modern style. For from what I understand, tampons as a concept have been has been going on for years and years. But the modern style with the little tubies and all the stuff. <laughs> little tubies. Little tubies. Um. <laughs> let's. Let's see. How about South Dakota? No. That is Colorado. <laughs> 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 You're doing so well. All uh, right. Uh, bottle caps were in what New England state um, would you find bottle caps? Delaware. No. <laughs> Maryland. Maryland had the bottle caps. Um, and then, um, all right, so this one I don't really understand. Okay. Uh, let's. Uh, all right. So it says Holter heart monitors. I don't know what that is. I do. I know what a heart monitor is, but th I think the Holter is a heart monitor that you wear. Yes. It's like a portable one. Yes. So where was that in invented? The heart monitor, the Holter heart monitor. I know how to set one up on your computer. Oh, do you? I do. Okay. But I don't know <laughs> what it was if, invented. What if my computer was, oh, up close to Canada in a really large state? <laughs> Um, <laughs> that um, Sarah Palin might have uh, been in at one time. Sarah Palin? Might have come from that state. Who knows? I mean. Up by Canada. Close to Canada. You know, big big sky town, big sky state, really large. Wyoming? No. <laughs> Montana. I don't know. Oh, big sky. Okay. Big. Uh, that's she came. That's where she, she lived from. What Why I would I know that? Because she was the um, uh, governor of the state you lived in forever. I don't care. I All right, like then. Him. The um, cyclotron. The cyclotron. What is a cyclotron? It is a uh, particle. Um, um, oh, oh, like the big thing yeah. in, in, in CERN. I'm, I'm trying to think of the word. Accelerator. The, particle yeah. accelerator. Yeah. Was invented the collider thing? Yes. Okay. Now think about, think carefully about states we haven't talked about, and I say we, it's been mentioned, but I mean we haven't said anything has come from there yet. See, I'm not keeping track because I That's don't have a problem. way to keep track. That's the problem. Well, then why don't we start over? No, no one <laughs> wants us to do that. <laughs> um, let's go with Virginia. No, South Dakota. I just said South Dakota. Not for this, you didn't, and that makes a big difference. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, the public county library 
was invented. The first one, the first public county library was invented in what state? The first library. Yeah. And Sarah Palin was not from this state. Okay. So it's not Montana. No. Okay. No. Public library, Vermont. <laughs> no. A few minutes ago, you said Wyoming, and I, when I was saying Sarah Palin, I was like, no, she wasn't from that state. And Jesus. so I'm trying to come back. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out, and you're still blowing it. All right. I didn't blow anything um, or anyone. Well, if you did, you might need some lip balm. So where was lip balm invented? You've said this state a million times. And you're going to have to get it right at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Um, lip balm. Uh -huh. A lot of lovers there. A lot of lovers. It's a state for lovers, by the way. I don't know the state logos. Why would I know the state logos? I'm just trying to help you out as How much as I Delaware? can. How about Delaware? No. Virginia. Jesus Christ! Virginia is for lovers. you never seen that bumper sticker or whatever? I don't pay attention. All right, Kevlar, bulletproof vest. Kevlar. You know what Kevlar is. I know what Kevlar is. Uh, where would that come from? Kevlar mm -hmm. comes <laughs> from... Uh, I'm just... You don't even care if I get these right anymore. I'm just saying, sometimes you just got to say the same thing twice. Sometimes... Delaware. Yes. <laughs> Man, I don't know if anybody's still listening at this point. Oh, I doubt it. I seriously doubt or it. They're, or they're super frustrated with me, one right. or the other. Movies with sound came from what state? Movies with sound? Yeah, we haven't got too many left. But see, I don't remember which ones we've already said. Um, movies with sound came from... From the South. Uh, in the South somewhere? Mm -hmm. Like what? Like... Uh, like South Carolina? No, we mentioned South Carolina already. Okay, let's go with um, West Virginia. No, that's really not. But you, we can I done just with start guessing now? No, no. I'm already guessing. Arkansas, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to being done. Thank God. Uh, tasers were invented. What state? Tasers. Tasers were invented. Tasers. In what state? Psst. Idaho. Nope. <laughs> We've already done Idaho. So. Oh, okay. Uh, but we really can't go that way because we only have three left. <laughs> should I, should I tell you which three we have, and then Please? you can kind of pick one of those three? I mean, that's going to be so much easier. Oh wait, wait, we have four. I didn't. Oh keep wait, track. we have five. That's fine. Five is better Never than mind. fifty. I'm not going to read all these off. What <laughs> should I read? Should I tell you which states we have Please. left of the five? Please. Uh, all right. So alphabetical order, we have Arizona. Uh, we, it's more than five. We have Minnesota, um, Oregon, Vermont, and West Virginia are the states that are left. West Virginia, Vermont, Oregon. Minnesota. Minnesota. And what was the other one? Oregon. Is that it? Oregon, West Virginia, Vermont, Oregon, Minnesota, uh, Arizona. It's, okay. All, All right. right. And so what did I say? Tasers. Tasers. Which Tasers came from Arizona. You are correct. Thank you. So one you did get right. Let me click that on here. I, I'm pretty sure I probably should have marked them out a little better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, uh, bubble bath was invented in what state? Bubble Minnesota. Bath. No. North Dakota. North Dakota. It's one down there. You didn't just say North Dakota. I did too. Okay. See, I've already forgotten what you said. This is why I have to write things down. I know. All right. Um, steamboats. Steamboats came from where? Steamboats. 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 I would think that steamboats would come somewhere from... <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? That was lunch. <laughs> steamboats came from what state? I would have thought that steamboats would come from, like, Mississippi or something. You would think, but that's what I said. Not always logical. All right. Uh, Arizona. You already guessed Arizona. Oh, okay. Um, Oregon. No. <laughs> West Virginia. West Virginia. 
<laughs> I'm just I don't care anymore. I know. No one no one does. <laughs> no one cares. All right, pennies, pennies. The the coin, pennies, uh came from which state first? Had pennies. In the New England area, which state? Uh, New England area? That we what, that we talked about just now when I made you give you the list of ones that were left over. <laughs> which Vermont. Exactly. Oh, my God. Man. This is just so ridiculous. Two more. Rollerblades happened from where? Where were rollerblades? Oregon. Nope. Minnesota. Okay. So the last one is Oregon. You're, you're going to get the last one. I have a <laughs> feeling. Where were uh, computer mi- mouses? Computer mice? Mouses. Uh, the mouse for a computer was invented in what state? Um, does it start with an O? Yes. Oregon. Exactly. Oregon. Yay. All right. That so was wild. that was a that was, that was horrible. a lot more tedious than I thought it was going to be. It was horrendous um, and awful and painful. Um, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have here that you have you got fourteen out of fifty. That's not a passing grade. That's not shabby, really, for someone who doesn't know any of it. But you gave me Mostly, hints. I did give you a few hints, uh, but some of them you got. So, but fourteen out of fifty, not too bad. Awesome. Um, I don't know if anybody played along at home or if they just turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> they probably just turned it off. I found it fascinating. Just uh, some of these things, I had no idea where they were. Uh, now I did so, uh, one of them. Um, I think it was New Mexico. It said the atomic bomb was invented in New, Ex- New Mexico, and I don't believe that, so I didn't use that one. Interesting. Um, I think, first of all, I think the atomic bomb was invented in several places. I know that Oak Ridge, Tennessee, right outside of Knoxville, uh, played a big part in it. Yeah. But the atomic bomb was first exploded in New Mexico. Yeah. But I, I, I don't think it was invented there. I don't know. And clearly, I don't care. All right. <laughs> 14 out of 50, not bad. <laughs> uh, everybody's screaming for us to stop the podcast now, so I think we probably should. Let's. <laughs> let's do that. Uh, let's talk about the beer. What do you think about this beer? Kyoto um, Yamadani Shiki. Wow. Yamadani Shiki. Yamadani Shiki Ale. Yeah. Yamadani Shiki. <laughs> that sounds like something you say after you drop something on your toe. <laughs> Yamadani Shiki. <laughs> That's not really racist. It's. Um, I don't know that I could get all that out <laughs> after I hurt my toe. No, but um, more like just shiki is all shiki. you need to say. Yeah. Shiki. Oh, shiki. I would say I I enjoy this beer. I do too. It's it's a good flavor. Um, I could have more than one of these. Mm-hmm. Um, not at the price that they are. No, the sake taste kind of sake sake taste kind of disappeared. The smell uh, definitely is um, still it's like sake. For sure. But yeah, but, I don't think I've ever had a rice beer before. Okay. And I like it. Me too. So I would give this one a three and a half. I'm giving it a four. You said three and a half. So I'm going to try my darndest, and I, I, I need to make a little chart. Um, so uh, I want to try to start <laughs> <laughs> keeping our, our scores. <laughs> I got to go back and, um, and I don't know. I think we... We're at episode 132, I think. Okay. Maybe three. I can't remember. But uh, like uh, episode 90 something is when. When you uh, stop the the last count on our on our library review. So I need to go back and kind of catch up with that. Uh, But I'm going to try to start keeping record. I need to get a little chart. So each each episode I can keep record of it. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Or you should do that. You're 3.5. I'm four. We both liked it. Um, So if you ever find Yamadani Shiki Ale, Yamadani Shiki Ale. Uh, by Kyoto, uh, please get, get up. it. Try That's it. Nice. So the last beer we got from the same company we both liked. True. And and at the price, I mean, it should be good. Really, you would hope so. Yeah, mm-hmm. because if it wasn't, I would not spend that on it again. Yeah. I may not spend it on it again, <laughs> anyways, because it is expensive. Yeah, I don't know that I would get another one, but I don't know if I was ever somewhere that I could find it at a cheaper price. For a six pack, that'd be good. Yeah, because ten dollars for one twelve ounce bottle, yeah, is excessive. I wonder. If, I bet you can get it cheaper in Japan. If you live in Japan, if you're listening to the podcast in Japan, 
Uh, first of all, that last segment about states makes no sense to you probably. At all. Uh, but the beer stuff you'd probably like. And I would say go, I recommend you f- go to your local grocery store and grab some. Yeah, but don't ship it to us because I don't think you can legally ship uh, alcohol internationally. Please ship it to us. Please ship it to us. I think you can. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I w- just as a um, kind of a catch up, kind of a update. Um, I think I mentioned on the last podcast or maybe the podcast before that I ordered some stuff from China and I was afraid it would never show up. Right. Uh, I got shipping confirmations on both of those things. Okay. I haven't seen them yet. Now, one I know has a wrong size. I ordered three pairs of shoes and one of the pair, somehow the shoe size got the wrong size on it. So you're going to have to go through the trouble of sending them I have, back. Well, I've sent them like four emails and they will not respond. But I'm like, please change this. Like, as soon as, as, soon as I ordered it and, it and I got the confirmation, I was like, why is that size wrong? Mm-hmm. So something happened and gave me the wrong size. So I immediately sent them an email. I immediately sent them two emails. No response. So like about a week later, I sent them another one. No response. And then I think uh, a few days ago, I sent them another one and no response. Interesting. I have a feeling it's going to show up with the wrong size. Yeah. And then I don't think I'll I'll be able to send it back. I'm, prob- I'm probably going to have to sell it. Okay. <laughs> That's good, too. <laughs> probably I mean, easier. It, it would probably be easier. You would get return on your... You know, you get a, your money back faster yeah. by selling. And I sent a package um, to uh, a friend of mine in the Philippines. Yeah. I mailed for here. Uh, it was one of the most expensive shipping costs I've ever paid for a package. It was a small package. It was crazy. How much? Um, over $100 just to ship a small package to the Philippines. Now, I, I took it to the United States Post Office, and they were like, nope, we're not shipping to the Philippines. And I thought what <laughs> why but they're not so i had to go to fedex and fedex it was expensive so um they said it would be do, it would get there july 10 okay which as we is record is today. today yes um and so i i have been following the tracking mm-hmm. so the first three days it went from atlanta to new york to china in three days wow from china it went to manila in the philippines right it sat in Manila in the Philippines for one week, just sat there. And every day it would be like customs updated, clearance happened, blah, blah. Just I, I think it was nothing. And then I believe it was yesterday or two days ago when it was supposed to be due today. It, well, like three days ago, the update said package cleared for delivery. And okay. I was like, Finally. And then all of a sudden the next day, package on hold. So for three, two days, it has said package on hold. It was supposed to be delivered today. It still says package on hold. I, I don't know when it's going to get there. I mean, you know. That's inc- you, insane. You think about it, though. They may be having issues, um, you know. Getting, Finding it. I bet they lost it. Getting delivery people to work. Well, that my friend was like, I bet they don't even know how to deliver it where I am. Because she lives on an island yeah. in the Philippines. She doesn't. This is in Manila. Yeah. And they got to get it. And she's it's. I mean, it's not a really remote. It's actually a, a well-known place. Uh-huh. But they, she's like, they're probably going to have to figure out how to get it to me. Yeah. Um, so, but they've had seven days. Yeah. I, <laughs> Couldn't I, they have found that out seven days ago? Think about the limited number of workforce that you've got. Think about the amount of packages that that limited number of workforce has to deliver. Insane. I'm not sending anything to uh, Philippines anymore. Okay. <laughs> I think it'd be easier and cheaper just to go myself and just, just to take deliver it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> plane, get a plane ticket. Probably. And where I didn't realize this. This is my stupidity. I totally, and I, I recognize because I don't know that much about the Philippines. So okay. I've had a friend in the Philippines for 15 years, whatever, which kind of go back and forth uh, with emails and just sure. we have. I've just known her for a long time, and then. Um, uh, so I just don't know a whole lot about the Philippines, and I've looked up Manila. And, you know, I told you, like, one on one show I talked about doing the walking videos in Tokyo, yeah. which is still one of my favorite things to do. Yeah. So I just thought, well, I'm going to do I'm going to do that in, in Manila, in uh-huh. the Philippines. So everywhere that I go, it's just like, it really looks run down. It looks really, really, like, kind of trashy and old. And every, like, whenever I can find one, everybody talks about how unsafe it is. Oh, and I'm yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to go there. And they, they talk about, like, when going to a hotel... Um, be really, really careful. There's a lot of people, a lot of pickpockets, a mm-hmm. lot of people trying to run scams to get mm-hmm. your money. 
Uh, apparently, the, uh, Manila in the Philippines is just a uh, not always a safe place. That's correct. And not everywhere, but just apparently you just really need to be careful. Yeah. So uh, I don't know why, but in my head, I just kind of thought, well, everybody, every place in the Philippines is kind of like that, which is dumb. Because yeah. everywhere in Georgia is not like Atlanta. That is very true. That <laughs> so, is very true. So uh, it's really kind of a dumb thing. But uh, I just, I don't know why in my head, I just thought that. So where my friend lives, she lives on an island. Uh, kind of, um, uh, really sort of a tropical island and I, I just she we were talking about it. she was like well I don't even live close to Manila and I was like oh I don't even know where she lives I'm going to look it up so I started looking up and what I've discovered is it is an island paradise uh, a lot like Hawaii yeah or um, Bali mm -hmm. and people go there for these incredible honeymoons and trips and it's gorgeous it's like it's definitely an island paradise, and so I, I had no idea she lived in like this Beautiful, amazing, amazing, yeah, paradise, <laughs> tropic, wonderland. Nothing like Manila. No. So, um, yeah, that was kind of my stereotyping and my ignorance, but I finally learned, and it's kind of cool. And so, it's a place where a lot of people go honeymooning, and so I was showing. Uh, there was a video of my showing it to my wife, and now she wants to go. Well, you so we might go. have to go. Yep. Now you're going to get to go. <laughs> all right. We'll close the podcast down. Uh, visit us on Facebook on This Epic Disaster, or all of our other kind of social media places. Uh, or you could drop us a line at thisepicdisaster at gmail.com. And uh, tell us what you think of the show. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, you want to give us some, uh, uh, tell us a dream. I'll interpret it. Uh, give us some relationship problems you have. Sherry will help you out. We always do that kind of thing. And let us know if you never, ever, ever want us to do another stupid <laughs> quiz like that. <laughs> Maybe we should have cut it in half. We should have done like... <laughs> 25 and 25. I don't know. I thought it was kind of fun, but it, it is it was a long one. I knew it was going to be long. Uh, but still, uh, just let us know what you think of the show. If you want free stickers, just write us. Tell us you want free stickers, and we'll get free stickers to you because we give that to everybody who wants But we're going to need your address for yeah, that. We do. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we're here every Monday in Atlanta, Georgia. That's how where we broadcast from. Nice day in Atlanta today. Not it that is. hot. It kind of feels good today, but it's not like that all the time. It's uh, not going to be like that tomorrow. No. But uh, wherever you are, we're glad that you listened, and we want to say thank you and come back. Thank you for listening. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. This is a Violet Jester Media Podcast.